Hi guys, welcome back to Hodder's RC Garage. We are back again here in Hudson, Indiana at Finish Line RC. Uh, we got Mud Boss and we got some IROX. Uh, we're going to be filming the IROX today. Uh, if you guys want to see any of the other classes or anything, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to get in and uh, get straight to the action. So inside here, we got a couple of the IROX out practicing. Uh, got Rick in the orange black car. We uh, hoping Zane's gonna be feeling all right. He's sort of under the weather today. Uh, he is gonna try and get in at least for one heat and make it into the main. Today is our second day of points, so it is sort of an important day. Uh, you can miss one race but it's obviously best to come to all seven races because then you can uh, drop your worst day. So hopefully we can get Zane out for at least one heat and one uh, main, get him some points. Uh, other than that, Rick's out here hoping to turn some good laps and increase his point standing. Uh, as we're sitting right now, uh, Kevin is leading the point series with 101 points. Uh, Rick is sitting with 91 points and Zane is sitting with 89 points. So we actually got four rounds of IROC today, uh, so it's going to be a pretty big day. Uh, we got, I think, a total of 20 drivers, um, or no, probably not that many. But either way, it's going to be a full day of racing, so it's really going to matter uh, keeping them smooth laps and placing good. Uh, first heat's going to be uh, Rick, and then uh, Zane doesn't go until the fourth heat. All right, so this is our first round of IROC. We got four rounds total today doing I guess four to five cars per heat uh, and this one we got some new guys just starting off a group of firefighters started uh, racing with us pretty cool we got Rick and we got the destroyer out all here right, again all right here we, we go first round of IROC starting off and there's the tone we're live racing Hey, Ricks shouldn't have a problem leading this race. We'll see how everyone does comparatively. Uh, we got two new guys out here. And then we also got the Destroyer. The uh, Destroyer has actually been doing pretty good these last couple weeks. As long as he can keep it clean and keep out of everybody else. Pink car going up on its edge. Rick's doing pretty good. I think he's Oh, Rick unfortunately should have used a little bit of patience there. He is up, I think, two laps right now on the destroyer, so. He would have just gave him a little more patience and gone around him in a better spot. Probably could have increased that to three laps. Uh, Rick Woods running a 51 lap race. But I think he's probably down to a 50 lap. We got Destroyer out there running blue a 49 lap. So he's right up there too. Destroyer's definitely made a lot of progress. Some very clean racing. We've only had a Rick flip once and whoop, pink car. He's done that, I think, two or three times now. But not because of anybody, just. Rick and the Destroyer now. There we go. That's cleaned up. All four cars out racing again. Oh, Rick unfortunately getting to the side of a new guy. Rolling him out of four. Whoa! I got a pink car there messing up Rick's run. I think that might be enough to let the destroyer take him to the first. Let's see if Rick can keep it clean the rest of the race. All that going on. Leave the destroyer up to the lead. 
Yep. Destroyer. Rich is still on the 45. Now he's on a 46. 505. Wally on a 43 and 5 flat. And Randy on a Let's see if Rick can chase the Destroyer down. Right now, Destroyer's up on him by just a little bit. Rick's got to get back ahead of him and then get a little bit more since he started the race out. Ooh, good clean pass. Let's see if that's enough to get into the lead before the race ends. And Rick's giving it all it can, trying to take that lead back. Right now, super close race between first and second. Only about a second splits them. I know it doesn't look like that on the track because it's all based off of uh, when you started. So if you start four or five seconds behind, then obviously you got four or five seconds extra to make another lap. So at the moment, we have, like I said, Rick sitting, I think, barely in first now. Yep, Rick's just barely sitting in the front. Ooh, Rick definitely increasing his pace though. Let's see if he can get up to a 48 lap pace. He's really close to it. Like I said, he started the race with a 51 lap pace. Destroyers ran a very good clean race. I think he uh, started a 49 lap pace and he's down to only a 47 for the traffic. But he has not flipped yet. This race, I don't think. See if Rick can get around him and then maybe put it a little bit of a distance and get a lap up on him. Ooh, clean pass, but send him way to the outside. Allow the destroyer to get back to the inside and get back in front of him. And that's the race. Destroying Rick done. I believe Rick actually took the win on that one. Yep, he did. Good driving, Rick. All right. Here we are for fourth heat of IROC. Second one I'm filming. We got Zane, of course, out here. We got Mark Reed out here. And we got Dave Brown. Um, and then we got two other new guys. I'm not too sure of their names. I know this is number purple zero guy. He's he's driven here before. Um, and then this orange and white car is actually an older car uh, from another driver that you got bought by a new driver. So brand new driver, older car. But sort of nice because it's already set up for him. So we should have a pretty decent race today. All right, here we go. Zane, I guess he's gonna lead them off. All right, just let Mark go in front. Here we go, racing is live. I'm gonna get some good, clean races out of Zane. Oh, we already got one guy on his lid on the back stretch. Let's see if Zane can get through him. There we go. Oh, we rolled Brown on accident. He's trying to hold his line, I think. He just came in there a little too hot. There we go, some good clean driving out of Zane. Able to stay ahead just a little bit. So we, got, so we got Mark sitting in first right now. I think Zane's in the second or third. Yeah, Zane's in second. He's doing a good job driving. Mark's here, right behind him in the first place position. Uh, Zane did let Mark go ahead of him at the start of the race, uh, just so that they weren't battling with each other, but it looks like Mark has caught back up to him. They drive, like I said, pretty similar. Mark's a little bit faster. I think it's because he's a bit more consistent. Let's see if they can get through each other without messing each other up. Yeah, 
There we go. Mark got around him a little bit. Good clean driving. Zane. Oh! Brownie taking Zane out in the back stretch. Ran right in the back of him. It's all right. We got him flipped back over and we're back into it. There we go. Good clean driving, Zane. Oh, ran into the wall. Oh, got a rollover right in front of Zane. He's able to miss it. Oh, tap stayed on his wheels. Good driving from Zane. Went up on two, but was able to put it right back down. Zane's a very good, fast driver. I was driving this car before during practice, and he can definitely turn some better laps than what I can do. Oh! Not sure what happened there, but there we go. We're back into it. It looks like he clipped that back wall and it just sucked him into the back wall. Looks like his car is pulling to the outside. He's gonna have, keeps having to counter steer for it. Doing good. Zane's looking to go 10th overall. I think that will get him into the B. Good clean driving. We're over halfway through. I think we're only got a minute, minute and a half. Oh, we got Dave Brown over on two. Zane was able to miss all that. Good driving Zane. Like I said, I think he is fighting his car pulling to the right right now. We're gonna have to look at that. Probably take it out during practice time and see if we can get it straightened up. Whoa, it actually hit the ice there. End up sending him right over. There we go. Good job waiting for traffic. Waiting for the right time to come back into it so he's not messing up anybody else. Zane's definitely showing a lot of progress. He's learning some race etiquette along with his skill. A lot of stuff, you know, you don't really know to say anything or how to respond to it until you're in that situation. But Zane seems to be picking up on the right way to do things. Very proud of his driving today. Doing really good. He's only had a couple mess ups, but he is feeling sick, so honestly, he's doing a lot better than I thought he would be doing. Oh, getting into the side of Dave. There we go, he's straightening up. There we go. Got all three of the top drivers, I think, in this class right here fighting each other. Zane, I think. Oh, ooh. Almost got flipped there. Oop, ended up getting to himself. Mark ended up rolling Dave there. Now they're back on it. Hey, sometimes going into the traffic like that, it's not a good idea. Sometimes just, you know, let them pass and then let them fight each other. If he would have done that, he might have been able to sneak away from them when they got tangled up in each other. But there's the end of the race. Let's see where Zane places. I'm betting either second or third. Well, Zane went down a little bit, uh, a lot of I think is because of that traffic, but not bad. Very good driving. All right, we are on to heat number two of IROC. Zane and Rick did really good in the first heat. Uh, Zane ran a 46 lap and Rick ran a 48 lap. So they're with the B main group right now. Uh, the other two groups just ran and Zane did get bumped down two spots. But if he can gain, go one lap or two laps faster, okay. that'll put him right back up into the B sort. So let's see what we can do. We got Aiden here. We got Rick. Uh, we got a new guy. I'm, unfortunately, I don't remember his name. Uh, we got Zane and the Destroyer. So Zane and the Destroyer are two looking to try and improve the most if they can. Oh, Zane unfortunately bumped the inside and took him to the outside and flipped that guy. Fortunately, he got back into it, but then went to the outside again. All right, Zane, good running out here in the open. Rick's out in the open on his own as well. Whoop. Thank you. 
Whoa. Zane on the back stretch. Unfortunately, he ended up getting loose on coming out of two. Aiden about taking his dad out. There we go. Well, I think somebody's out of it. Oh, Rick and Aiden both on their lid. So far, we only got two. All right, there we go. Got four cars out. Uh, we got one guy out. He said, I think his battery didn't take a charge or something. He said it's running real slow. Hopefully, he didn't smoke a motor. Oh, Zane getting on two wheels there, saving it. Getting back into it. Hey, if he can run his line, I know he can be nice and fast. So there was, now there's four. Should help Zane run a little bit cleaner race, being one less car out there. Rick and the Destroyer going head to head at the moment. Zane's doing some good clean driving. Super proud of him. Rick made his way away from the Destroyer. He's out in the, his own race now. Trying to hunt down Zane, but really they're keeping about the same gap. I think they're running close to the same lap times. Sitting in fourth at the moment, but things can change up. Uh, Destroyer was in third, but he just took a hard hit. Rick's actually sitting in first, uh, ahead of Aiden. I'm not sure if he's going to improve his position overall, but in this race, he is sitting in first. We got two minutes to go, guys. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go, over halfway through. I'm anxious to see if we uh, improved on our laps. Like I said, if we can get one or two more laps, I'll keep him up in the B sort. He's got a really clean race going. He only had that one flip. Let's see if he can stay away from Papa. Hopefully Papa doesn't drive into the rear of him. Well, Zane's actually putting some gap, some distance on Papa now. Good driving from Zane. Like I said, I did we drive. One to have to go, one to have to go, guys. Rick, Aiden, Zane, Destroyer, Greg. Watch it four, go low and four. Low and four, oh, whoop. Rick unfortunately stuck on the outside there. Zane was able to get through. Now Rick's back into it. That did cost him a lap, unfortunately. Oh, tapping the inside, he's able to save it. Keep his lap pretty clean. Oh, a little two-wheeling, able to keep it down. Like I said, Zane's improved so much over this last year on his driving. Super happy with him and how good he's doing. Oh, went to the inside there, went to the outside, was able to save it. Great driving. Like I said, I drove his car in practice. He moved up to three. Whoa, and he's on his lid. Flip him over, flip him over, guys. Oh, Aiden on his lid, too, in the same spot. Keep it going, Zane, doing great. Rick's still in the lead. Aiden in the two. Oh, Zane roll over a little bit, traction happy, but not too bad, back into it. I don't think that costed him too much. The rest of the guys sort of got into each other and slowed up. 12 seconds left. See if Zane can hold on to third place for the race. Hopefully he can improve his lap and move up in the standings. There's the tone. Great time to hit that buzzer. He got an extra lap. There we go. I think we got Rick in first and Zane in third. Yeah, Rick moved. Zane moved himself up to 11. Good job. Good deal. So let's move on to the third heat. All right. So Zane improved. He did bump up to a 47 lap pace. Uh, Rick improved up to a 49 lap pace. 
So they're still two away from each other, but other guys did run faster, so Zane did get bumped down to the C group. Uh, he is the fastest guy here in the C group. Um, there is about, I think, four of them that are sitting at that 47 lap pace. So it's coming down to the seconds. Okay, guys, get them rolling. We'll get this started. All right. Here we go. Spraying them out, and Zane's racing. Oh, got one flipping on the back stretch. Oh, Zane ended up getting wrapped up in that. Unfortunately, but he's back into it. There we go, stay clean on that. There we go. Getting good driving out of Zane. Unfortunately, he got, uh, wrapped up in traffic early and held up. Uh, that is gonna put him down a little bit, but he's a good, confident driver. I'm sure he's gonna get back up into there. We got Bruce also in this race in the black and green. We got Dave upside down, unfortunately. Uh, and we got pink car. We got pink car, it's a new racer. <laughs> and we got this multicolor car here. He's also a new racer for the week. Let's see how Zane's doing. A little bit late. All right, we got Bruce Farnie on front. Randy in the two, stage three. David Oh, Bruce, unfortunately, rolling Zane. Bruce Farnie, looking to go ninth overall. He can keep it up. Bruce, right now, leading the pack, doing pretty good. Got another car over on the top on four. Ooh, Zane sneaking right behind him. Whoop. They didn't keep getting into traffic, unfortunately. I think that's going to be his biggest issue with this class. You can get with the faster guys, it's a little bit easier to run because you're not running into traffic in front of you. Unfortunately, that's been Zane's biggest downfall so far, I think, this race is just other drivers being in his way. Oh, got a little bit too loose there. He's right back into it. Two minutes down, three minutes to go. In dropping a little bit because of those two couple wrecks, but I'm sure he'll get back up there. Just gotta keep his head down. Doing really good. Just keeping up with the first place guy here. Let's see if he can get a clean pass on him. Oh, going to the inside, a little bump. Zane got on him two wheels, but was able to save it. So Zane and Bruce are both. Whoa! Zane unfortunately getting into Bruce. Yeah, unfortunately that was a leader he rolled. I think Bruce did get him earlier, but we won't call it payback. We're better than that. That was just an unfortunate accident. Oop, we got one over here on the back stretch, or on number four. Taking care of, oh, Zane unfortunately getting into Dave. There we go. Zane back into the race. Dave back into the race. Everybody up. Oh, pink car's in number four right here. There we go. Oh no, we got somebody on their end there in two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Zane unfortunately, there we go. Zane unfortunately got spun around there. Oh, Bruce and another car end up on their lid. I think that was actually Bruce's fault there, unfortunately. Um, if we're playing the blame game, which we don't. Oh, Bruce going real wide and Zane. All three of them there bumping off of each other. Zane ended up coming out in front on that. Let's see if he can keep it ahead. Zane's moved up to the third place spot. Doing a real good job driving. Bruce here right behind him is sitting in first. There we go. Good turn from Zane. Oh, got ran into the back of. Unfortunate. There we go. We're straightening back out. Oh, pink car into the center. 
And he's out. Oh, Dave ended up on his lid again, unfortunate. One of the new guys took him out on that turn. Zane holding out, doing a good pass See, there. Can, oh. There's some smart driving and keeping there. See, it's between Bruce yeah, and Zane, they, Zane definitely, bank doors, they definitely like to go after each other. They're about equal drivers, both starting about the same time. Yeah, it always seems like they're in Keep each other's rolling. mess. Good, clean driving. I think Bruce is going to take the win on that. I believe we got Zane in third place on that one. Good driving. I don't think we added any laps though, so I think we're going to still be starting out in the C main. On to Rick in the B. All right, here we are. Heat number three in the B main group. We got the Destroyer. We got Rick. We got Aiden. And we got Apollo. And Greg. Greg is this purple car. I keep forgetting his name. Apollo, he's actually from the off-road series that is here on Friday nights. He decided he's going to come out today and try Chad's car out and do some mobile racing. He's doing actually pretty dang good. He's actually the one that ended up kicking Zane out of the B-Main. See how good Rick can do this. See if he can prove himself up to a 50 lap pace. And he's already been over on his lid once, unfortunately. So Apollo, he's, he's sitting in first. Uh oh, uh oh. Look out, Kevin. Apollo going to DQ right now. Ooh, Apollo. So Paolo, he's sitting in first, and he's also, as long as he maintains his pace, he's moving up to the first place sitting. And that would be this guy number eight here, the blue eight car. Seen him doing some tweaking. I think he changed Chad's setup just a little bit, but overall it's Chad's car. And he is moving on this oval race. Oh, we got Aiden up and over. Destroyer, Grandpa ended up taking him out, unfortunately. Oh, Rick and Aiden getting into it in four. Follow Rick here again. Rick's right in ahead of everybody else. Rick's just as fast. It's always just the corners. It's really this whole entire name of this game, I believe, in this whole race. And how well can you do in the corners? Anybody can be straight fast in the straightaway, but setting yourself up right for the corner. For entrance and exit, makes a huge deal. Destroy a tap eight a little bit. Oh, see, Paolo can get. Yep, there we go. Clean line from Paolo going right past Rick. See, Rick, we got real close there on the back side. There's about an inch. <laughs> Super good clean racing. I think there's only been two or three flips. Oh, as I say, that destroyer ends up on his lid here in the straightaway. Got him straightened out. Unfortunately, came right out in front of this first place guy, but they didn't make any contact and they were good to go. Two minutes to go, guys. Two minutes to go. Let's see if Paolo can keep hanging on to this. Get through traffic. Three minutes down. Paolo's still on the lead. I think Rick is. Right now. Rick is sitting in third, I believe, right now. Greg in the purple car and purple zero, I believe, he's sitting second. Oh man, we got Destroyer spinning out on two. I think that was just self-inflicted. Oh, and Rick taking out Destroyer on four. Yeah, Rick's battling Aiden there, and Grandpa's just sort of got in the way, I guess. Aiden and Rick put on a good show here. Whoop. Till Aiden took it up on two wheels, sort of dropped back some. Apollo is still on that top qualifier pace. 
Well, Rick's running real fast. This car is definitely doing good. See Paulo here. We've got a minute to go. See if he can keep it clean. We got a big race going on right now between Rick here and Greg, the purple car. They're battling for seventh and eighth spot in the overall standings as far as laps, which that is good. That does mean Rick is improving his laps. Let's see if he can bump it up to a 50 or so. That does also mean that Aiden is probably pumping his laps up as well. I believe he was at a 50 lap pace as well. Oh no, I think Destroyer's out. Destroyer unfortunately broke his. I'm sure they'll get him fixed for the mains, but that means he's stuck with the laps that he has. I think that it is going to keep him though in the B main setup. We'll have to see how everybody runs. Ooh, Aiden unfortunately two wheel and then going to the outside. End, end of the race there. I believe we took third place in this one, but I believe we did improve laps. So let's check laps and let's see where we're going to be sitting for the mains. All right, we are out for this B mains for IROC. Uh, we ended up doing three mains for IROC. Zane then got bumped up into the B. Uh, there's there was six original of them, uh, and then two that came out of the C main, which are these two cars right here. This 118. Oh, it looks like one guy might be out already, unfortunately. All right, so our starting lineup, we got Greg up in front, then Rick in second, Aiden in third, Bruce here in fourth, Destroyer in fifth, Zane starting in sixth, and we got Trent and Dick and lion in this lineup up. Oh, that's reverse. Ooh. Talking about tech, and we got some guy running reverse. Uh oh. All right. Here we go. 75 laps for the B main. Here's our parade lap. Keep everything in line. We're looking good. We're going to race. And we're racing. Ooh, Aiden already flipped, and fortunately, Zane, I think, gained two positions there. He's up to four. Oh, we got Bruce upside down. Zane now up to third. Now up to second. Excellent driving from Zane. And we got Rick out in front. I think that's the only person Zane hasn't passed. Destroyer and Rick, big wreck in the center. Let's see if Zane can get through it. Seems to make through. Oh, unfortunately, Greg into the door of Zane. Oh, we got two two new guys flipping on the outside there, and Greg unfortunately running into the. All right, we cleared out. Sound like a hard hit there in the backside. Zane running a nice, good, clean race. Oh, Zane. Zane unfortunately taking out the leader, but he's running a good race. I think he hasn't flipped yet. Oh, we got three there, upside down on two. Zane was able to sneak through all of that. Whoa, Zane unfortunately ran into the back of Destroyer here. He's, Destroyer's running a little bit slow on the front shut. Not sure what's going on. I think Destroyer's dead. Greg, unfortunately, upside down, out of four. Aiden in first, Zane in second. Rick's in third. Oh, Greg, unfortunately, getting into Zane there. Back on his wheels and racing. 
Aiden is leading it though right now. Oop, little bump there in the front stretch. And he ended up going into Bruce. Zane and Aiden battling right now. Let's hope it doesn't end in one of them upside down. They've been pretty competitive. Looks like Aiden's putting a little bit of space on Zane there. Zane being really competitive. Oh, unfortunate traction roll there. He had to tuck it to the inside to stay out of that other car. And that was just too much for his car. Oh, we got Rick upside down in two. He's back on his wheels and going. Oh, Bruce rolling someone there on one and fortunately getting Zane. Come on, guys. There we go, Zane's back into it. Oh, he's back upside down again. There we go, we're back into it. Oh, Greg, traction rolling on two. There we go. Clean racing, clean racing. That will get it done. Oh, Zane unfortunately getting into Greg there. And then Aiden putting him down the back stretch some. Ooh, we got a whole bunch going on here. Zane's back into it. Oh, turn a little early there. Thankfully didn't get into anybody. Oh, bunch of people up front here. Chad's getting a little upset. We got to clean this race up. I'd say Zane's running pretty clean. He has gotten into a couple people, unfortunately, but I think they're not necessarily meant. Oh, we got two guys here in front. Rick, one of them. Oh, Zane, unfortunately, getting picked up into that. He's back out racing. Zane's unfortunately in the fifth. I think it's just because of all the traffic he's been getting into, but. Oh, a little bit inside there on the straightaway. Oh, we got two upside down on four. There we go, back into it. He's racing. Couple clean laps here. See if Zane can make some gaps. Start pulling some lap times. There we go. Oop, a little too early, but 25 laps to go. A whole lot can happen. Oh, traction rolling. I think his car is starting to pick up that grip. So he's really going to have to watch if he's tucking to the inside like that. Oh, two wheeled, unfortunately. I got into Bruce. There we go. So if he can keep, if he can stay wide on the straightaway, that's his problem. He keeps coming to the inside, I think, a little bit too much on the straightaway. There we go. There's a good clean lap. Got a guy traction rolling on two and four. All cleaned up. Oh, Zane turning in a little early. There we go. Back into the race line without messing anyone up. Oh, we got. One, we got a whole section of the track messed up here. Oh, we got Aiden upside down. Zane coming around. Good driving, good driving. Oh, we got two of them getting into it. Oh, Zane and fortunately got into the back of them. They both ended up going over. Now they're back into it. Oh, we got Bruce on the front stretch. Oh, Greg on four. Man, this is a this is a rough race. Everyone's being super competitive. I don't think anybody wants to let up at all. Zane's in the fourth. Rick in the second place position. Let's see if Zane can keep it up and move up to the third. Oh, Rick, unfortunately, upside down. I didn't see what happened, but he's up on his roof. 
Oh, Rick unfortunately getting into Zane here on the straightaway. There we go, we're back into it. Oh, Rick on the front stretch. There's Zane. Again. Cleaned up. Five to go. Good driving there, Zane. Just got a K out of everybody else. Oh my gosh, unfortunately the car there sitting on the inside. This has been, oh, it wasn't anywhere for him to go and that guy's just going slow. And unfortunately the eight cars out here, it does make it pretty bad. As everyone, I believe, Aiden and Rick got second, Aiden got first. All right, here we go for the parade lap for the A main. Rick was able to get second place and move up to the A main. So starting from the back here, we got Rick and then Aiden. And we got Kurt. And we got Mark. And moving up. We got a new guy there in the orange car. Got Brandon in third. Paulo in second. And of course, the big deal out front here, Kevin. Oh, see where Rick's at here. Rick moved up three spots, or taking over two cars. He got ahead of Aiden and got ahead of Kurt. Kurt's now in the silver car here, a lap down. See if Rick can catch up to the orange and white and gain another spot. <coughs> this orange and white car, his name is Gavin. Ooh! Rick and Aiden and Mal Mark. Ooh, that was unfortunate. Sat him right. Oh my gosh, all right. Now we're all cleaned up out of two. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got Paolo over on top. There we go. Everyone's cleaned up. Everyone's back rolling. Kevin's now in first by a pretty good bit. Olive's flipped twice now, put him down some spots. Brandon's to the second spot. Not sure who, I think Mark's sitting in third, or it might be Gavin sitting in third. Oh, Mark's moved up to second. Oh, man. There we go. All right. Unfortunately, Rick's car this week develops an issue. He doesn't have brakes. He's got plenty of throttle, but he hits the brakes and it's just nothing. Just free spins all the way down until he rolls to a stop. So it is making it a little bit challenging. That's why it does seem like he's running in the back of people because he just can't slow down. Or all he can do is turn. Going to the inside of Aiden there. Forced Aiden to go to the outside and bump the wall. Made his way past. Oh, we got Kirk rolling over in the floor. Ooh, Kirk going back to eight because of that roll. I mean, I believe Rick is up to six and Aiden and seven. Oh, we got Mark and Kirk getting into it here in the front stretch. Aiden getting rolled up into it. Couple of people yeah, bouncing. Oh, Rick, unfortunately, there getting into two different cars, unsettling his. I believe we do got still got Kevin out front. Main battle right now seems to be between second. Kevin's really good at just being consistent. <laughs> 
and staying out of traffic, letting everybody else do their own things, wrecking. He usually ends up winning just because he's the only one that hasn't been on his lid. So right now, I believe the running order, we got Mark up, or I'm sorry, we got Kevin out front, Mark in second, Brandon in third. Gavin, I believe, might take over third there. There's a battle there for third and fourth. Rick seems to be doing some clean laps now. Rick, yeah, Rick's got the fast pace at 5-0. That's quick as can be. It's really fast for an IROC. Zane's turned to 5-1 once in practice, and that was like a unicorn moment. So Rick here turning a 5-0, pretty nuts. We just got to stay out of traffic. Oh, got two on top, Kurt, and I believe Mark. Mark unfortunately tapped the back of Kevin and ended up sending them all out to the outside of two. Rick's doing great. Staying right ahead of the leader. I say he is fast. He is making a gap on the leader. The leader's not able to catch him. Like I said, it's just a matter of traffic. Oh, Rick getting into the back of Aiden. Aiden going a little bit slow in the back stretch. Oh, we got both reeds on their lid on the back stretch. There we go. We got them all flipped up and going. Everybody on the wheels racing. Oh, Gavin's moved up to the second place. Brandon in third. So, I mean, I believe that puts Mark in fifth. And I think Rick in sixth. Aiden in seventh. And Kirk in eighth at the moment. Apollo here is making his way up. The third. A lot of big changes. Everybody's pretty much on the same lap except for Kevin way out in front. Seven to go. Some clean racing here, hopefully the last couple laps. There you go, usually either way. People giving it all or Rick's into the fifth spot. Now Rick and Paul there. White flag out. Oh, Rick flipping on the last lap. Both live. There we go. Oh, hopefully that got him through in fifth place. He was doing really good. Oh, driver's Gavin. done. Gavin, Kevin, Gavin, Brandon, Apollo, then Rick taking fifth. So after two weeks of racing for points, Zane is doing great sitting in sixth place, and Rick is up here in fourth place. Kevin, of course, sitting in first, Brandon in second, Mark Reed in third, and Aiden Reed in fifth. Uh, we got Dave in seventh. Uh, from there, Chad sitting down in 10th because he did not race this week. And the rest of the people, I believe, also only have one race under the belt. Uh, like I said, we raced seven weeks of this, and we get to drop one. So the top six places of yours will count. So that's going to be it for us today uh, here at IROC Racing. Uh, we got a fifth place. I'm still a big deal. He's still a big deal. Still got first place. So... Hopefully next week we can change that up and maybe we can kick Kevin out of the top spot. So make sure you guys all like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.